Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. Um, it's been a little while, not too too long, but a little while. Um, today I thought I'd bring you along, and we're going to be making a new recipe that um, I think my family will enjoy, and I'm sure that you guys would maybe want to try it and see how you feel about it. Um, I've already done some prepping things. I have my broth over here on the back. Um, I'm going to be turning that on to boil, to bring up to a boil, I should say. And then I have um, my homemade noodles that I made yesterday, fresh. So we got those. Um, the recipe is a, um, you can use beef tips, you can use, or steak tips. Um, you can use uh, any kind of steak cut up. Um, it's got peas in it and um, noodles, like I said, that I just uh, made yesterday. And um, I just thought we'd just do it together. So uh, the first thing I need to do is we have uh, mushrooms here. But I'm going to open up our beef so that it's ready. Put this to the side, and then I'm gonna turn on my um, turn the wrong burner on. I'm gonna turn on my iron skillet, and what I want to do is I'm gonna take some garlic that I have frozen. And we're just going to do about four cloves. You can do five if you like more garlic. Less if you like less. And this is frozen garlic that um, we had. So I just got it out of the freezer and I'm just going to do a nice chop. Pretty fine. You can use minced garlic if you don't uh, have garlic cloves or minced garlic you can actually use garlic powder if you want it just might alter how you uh, might have to cook your meat with the garlic instead of the pieces but we're just going to chop this up get it nice and small watch your fingers Ooh, that smells good already. I love garlic. I use it in a lot of recipes. That's why I like to, when I get um, an abundance of it, I like to freeze it or you can can it. You can, there's multiple ways to preserve it. You can dehydrate it. Now, when you do can garlic, a lot of people have asked, there's been, um, where at times it'll turn blue or purple, sometimes green, and they're like, uh, I don't know about that. All that is is a chemical reaction to whatever you're canning it with. It's something that's in the garlic that just causes that reaction. It doesn't make it bad or anything else. All right, so we got that chopped, and then we're going to take, I'm going to say a little less than half of an onion. Now, you can use uh, yellow onions if you prefer. We already had one open, purple onion, so we're just going to go ahead and use that today. We're going to top that up. And like I said, you want it kind of small. You don't want big chunks in this meal. You just want enough that you know it's there. And gives you the good flavor that you're looking for. And 
And I'm going to continue chopping this and then we will continue on. Okay, so I went ahead and got the onions finally chopped like the garlic. And I'm using a cast iron pan which is greased, uh, seasoned I should say, very well so I don't have to add any oils. Um, if you are using just a regular pan at this point you want to add some type of oil to keep your onions and garlic from burning. I'm going to go ahead and add the, oil, uh, the onions in to get those started. I got those in there. We'll give those a few minutes before we add the garlic. And now that we're cooking, I'll bring you on over here. So we're just going to cook this long enough that it softens it up a little bit. Turn it down just a little bit, maybe on like a medium low. Got onions splashing out. Oh, I love the smell of cooking onions. And over here we have beef broth. And I'm going to cook my noodles in. You can just cook it with um, just water if you want. I like to season my noodles a little bit as they're cooking. So that looks about good there. We'll go ahead and add the garlic. Cook that around. Like I said, you don't want to burn the garlic because garlic turns bitter if you burn it. So you just want to move it around a lot, make sure that it's not getting burnt. And our next ingredient will be red cooking wine. So cook this just a little bit longer. Just enough to bring the flavors out of the garlic. Now you're going to add your red cooking wine. I'm going to say probably about three-fourths of a cup. Then you're going to let that slowly cook down. So I'm going to turn the heat back down to uh, probably, well, a little less, well, I don't know, between low and medium. So you don't, uh, just enough to make it simmer. Once you um, have it simmering and it's starting to reduce down, then you can add your steak tips. So we're going to just continue doing that for now. Alright, so that now has reduced down to about half, and that's what we're looking for. And that took only about, I don't know, five minutes at the most. Just keep stirring it and watching it. Now you want to add your beef, or beef tips. So the stairs can start cooking down. Mm. Hey, what? The smell is wonderful. Yes, my meat here is still a tad bit frozen, but nothing to worry. Just want to get them separated here. This is just a basic uh, beef and noodle with peas recipe. So 
some people call it like similar to a stroganoff. But it doesn't have the creams and things like so stroganoff does in it. So you can see that the meat is starting to get ground up. This is when I'm going to go ahead and add our salt and pepper. Today I'm using sea salt, the coarse. Um, you can use any salt that you prefer. So just about a half teaspoon, three quarters of a teaspoon, not too much. And then I'm going to season with some black pepper. And just give that a good mix. My broth over here is getting ready for a good boil. So we're just going to keep mixing this up. And I'm going to go ahead and add mushrooms. And you can omit this step if you choose. But we like our mushrooms. So we're going to put... Um, about a half cup of mushrooms in. We used these last night because I made my strombolis. And if you want to have some good strombolis that you can make at home, I do have a video that shows you exactly how to make my strombolis. And my husband just really enjoys those. Um, I can have I can link that down below so you guys can watch that after you watch this video if you'd like. So we're just going to go ahead and continue cooking the meat until it's no longer pink inside. Turn it down here so you can see. Oh, this smells so good. I'm hoping that it tastes just as good as it smells. Like I said, this is our first time. This is a new recipe. So I thought we would share it together. So we'll continue cooking this and we'll uh, move on to the next step when it's time. Alright, so our broth over here is boiling. I added just a touch of olive oil to help prevent sticking and I'm just going to put the noodles that I made yesterday and dehydrated in. Give it a little bit of a stir. Get that um, olive oil in between the noodles. I'm just going to let that keep boiling. And if you notice, I put this across here. Anytime that you're boiling something, like noodles or potatoes, if you use a wooden spoon or something like that across it, it'll keep it from over boiling from your pot. And the meat is getting almost there as well. Almost there. You hear Carmen in the background. She's playing. She's got a little bag that she likes to carry stuff in and pretend that she's opening a new gift today. She's so sweet. But uh, I'm going to continue doing this and monitoring our noodles. And then we'll be ready for the next step soon. Alright, so the beef is... I'm going to say 95% done, and I'm going to go ahead and add in our cup and a quarter of peas, and just let that cook with that, so they can absorb some of those wonderful juices as well. This is going to be good. I do believe so. Beef is done. I'm going to go ahead and add about 10 and a half ounces of brown beef gravy. 
Now you can make your own gravy, but I thought I would just take a little shortcut tonight. And I've turned the heat down to two, which is just above the low. And we're just going to mix this all together and let it incorporate with each other. At this point, you don't, don't want to cook the meat much more. You just want it to stay warm and incorporate that gravy with the juices that's already in there. And that's it. We're just going to uh, let this marry together and wait for the noodles to finish boiling. Our noodles are done. I'm going to move the rolls out of the way here. And we're going to move these noodles off the heat so they don't cook. And uh, we'll listen to Carmen in the background. She's in there having a good time. So, yeah, the noodles are done. The meat mixture is done. And at this point, I'm going to go ahead and throw the rolls in. Um, because they only take a few minutes. And then we will show you the final product once we get it plated. So thank you again for joining me today. Truly, truly appreciate you all. And if you would, please like, subscribe, hit that notification bell, and that way you don't miss any of the future videos. We do all kinds of sorts of different things on this video. Just a family vlog. Uh, anything from gardening to dehydrating, fermenting, um, making meals together, baking together. So just thank you for being part of our family and we love y'all and have a wonderful week and God bless you.